My name's Paul Kare. I'm from Jersey and Channel Islands and uh, we grow 1100 virgies of uh, Jersey Royals. June last year we were digging the field and um, I popped across the hedge to see Glyn and his father because uh, Glyn said about this compost tea, we mentioned it, and we went to have a look at his greenhouse and we were in this field and the potatoes were struggling, with the, it was quite a dry period and they were struggling and I jumped across into the greenhouse of uh, Peter's greenhouse and the spuds were standing up and the size of their leaves on the potatoes was phenomenal. They were our seed, so it was the same potato but they looked so healthy compared to ours. <laughs> and uh, so that's where it come from. We decided we were going to put this field, in, or two fields, into uh, compost tea and try and knock the chemicals on the head and see if we can uh, improve the soil structure. And I think with the crop we had out of it this year, we didn't use no chemicals and we hit three ton of RG, which I couldn't believe. <laughs> and uh, the, the texture and the taste of them was completely different to our conventional ones. If we can get this working 100%, I, I can't see why we can't change the whole farm to it. And then there's no chemicals involved, which is, saves us a fortune in money. And uh, it's just an experiment at the moment. But, Hopefully, all going well. There'll be a future in farming. Yeah, last year, to start off with, we dug the potatoes out, conventional crop. We injected a compost tea into the soil with the um, subsoiler, and then uh, put the cover crop in, and we left it, and then uh, swiped it about October, November time, which we found, we now know was too early. So this year we're going to leave it green till we plant, till we a week before we plant, and we're going to pulverise it. But uh, we noticed we didn't plough the fifth field, which is a first for us. And last year we were struggling with uh, water logging in certain parts of the field, and this year there was no water at all anyway. Yeah, I think um, the moisture content and the root system when we were digging the potatoes, the roots were full of ground and there was a massive root as well. So we must be improving the ground. This year we've done one hectare of this compost tea and cover crop and we've, I think we've put in 50 hectares this year of our cover crop altogether, just to see how it improves the soil for next year. And hopefully within five or six years, maybe the whole farm will go into cover crops. But uh, if we get the benefits from it, there's no chemicals, we won't have to use chemicals, so we'll save that money doing it that way. <laughs>